Hello, this is Curtis Morrison, immigration attorney in Southern California, practicing law in California and Washington, D.C. Um, today's video is about two things. One, the status conference in the Kennedy versus Trump case, the DV case in D.C., um, and also about the government and Gomez's efforts, Gomez plaintiff's efforts, that DV case, um, to consolidate to, to put those consolidated cases on hold, the ones before Judge Mehta. So first, I'll talk about today's uh, consolidation. Um, Judge Mehta issued an order today that consolidates the Kennedy case, the Kennedy lawsuit, with Muhammad, Aker, Fong Zhang, and Gomez. This is good. Uh, the order also dismisses the Kennedy motion for a temporary restraining order as moot. Uh, that is okay, because the motion really is moot because DV processing is on hold until the final decision in the case. And, and also the PP9645 travel ban issue, that is not relevant until we win on the merits and get final judgment. So, so that hearing is canceled too. Um, so second thing, um, the chance to fight the government and Gomez's efforts to put the district court case on hold, okay? Um, also in the hearing, Judge Mehta asked about the government and Gomez's motion to stay. Let's delay the cases in Muhammad, Fong Jong, and Kennedy until after the final answer on their appeal at the circuit court level. Um, this is an important issue because no DVs will be processed or issued until after um, the final judgment by Judge Mehta, okay? If we are able to move forward as we want, the attorneys for Muhammad, Fong Jong, and Kennedy, um, we could get a favorable decision from Judge Mehta on the merits using a motion for summary judgment by December. So DV processing and issuance could begin then in December. However, if the government and Gomez get what they want, then the proceedings before Judge Mehta will be on hold until at least January. Nothing will happen between now and January before him. Um, and so we would not reach a final judgment on the merits in that case until after it started in January. So until March or April or even later, March or April would be the earliest. Okay, many people ask why the Gomez DV plaintiffs would want to delay the district court case. We do not represent the Gomez DV plaintiffs, and I cannot answer for them, but I can give you this fact. All six of the Gomez DV plaintiffs have been issued visas. That situation puts them in a more comfortable position than the over 2,000 plaintiffs in Muhammad, Fong Jong, and Kennedy who have not been issued visas. So I think that's one of the factors in why you're seeing these different points of view. The judge decided today to give attorneys for Muhammad, Fong Jong, and Kennedy, us and our team, um, an opportunity to file an opposition to the government and Gomez's efforts to stay and delay the court case before him. That is great. <laughs> um, we must file that opposition, a brief, by October 15th, and the government can reply to that. Maybe Gomez can reply to it. Um, and then um, the judge will issue his final decision after the 20th, October 20th, um, his final decision on the motion to stay. We will send you updates as we have more information. Um, final note. Right now, me and our team, we're working on filing a lawsuit for family-based categories in San Francisco. We will file on October 14th, but it's called the Reuniting Families Ban, a Reuniting Families Lawsuit, okay? Um, because we're extremely busy trying to prepare that case on board the plaintiffs, we request that DVs with questions about today's status conference and the order Hold those questions until October 15th when we have more time to address them fully. That would relieve a huge burden on me and our team, who I don't think is sleeping right now, okay? Thank you in advance for giving me and my team this courtesy, our team. Thank you, thank you. Remember to drink water and breathe. I love you all. Bye.